Hello everyone and welcome back to Instrumentation Hub. We have started control system subject and till now we have covered basic introduction of the control system, different types of control system and some real time applications of control system, right? In upcoming videos, we are going to see some mathematical terms of the control system. And in this video, we are going to see about transfer function. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Let's begin with the very first question that is what is transfer function? Guys, you know that system is an entity which performs operation on the input to convert it into the required output, right? And in this system, transfer function gives relation between input and output of the linear time invariant system. And you guys already know what is time invariant system, time invariant system. So there is no point talking about that. If you have no idea what is time invariant, time invariant, then you can check my previous video. I have explained these terms. So why this relation between input and output is required? Basically, relation between input and output of the system helps us to study behavior of the system and also helps us in mathematical analysis of the system. Friends, Laplace transform is a mathematical tools, tool which is used in analysis of the system. Uh, let's define the transfer function. Okay, so pay attention. Transfer function is defined as the ratio of Laplace transform of the output to the Laplace transform of the input. But all initial conditions should be zero. Let's see how to define this Laplace transform. Let's understand by the next example. Let's consider this is a control system with input R of T and output c of t and impulse response of the system is g of t now we have to calculate the ratio of the input to the output so we are going to take ratio of c of t by r of t but for calculating transfer function we have to take the laplace transform of the input and output so we are going to take c of s by r of s so that our final equation comes g of s is equals to c of s by r of s so the transfer function of the system is g of s is equals to c of s by r of s understood for now just understand that if you have to calculate the transfer function of the system. You have to take the ratio of input to output. But transfer function of input to output. It is that simple. If you have any doubt till now, please let me know in the comment section. Okay? Why transfer function used in control system? There are so many advantages of transfer function. Like transfer function provides complete solution to the linear time invariant system. It gives the mathematical analysis of the all components of the control system. And using transfer function, we can determine stability of the control system. And output response of any type of system can be calculated using transfer function. Okay? Remember some keywords like time invariant system it is linear time invariant system we can calculate stability we can calculate mathematical analysis of the control system okay it will become easy to remember now there are some disadvantages of transfer function let's see what are those the first disadvantages is this technique is useful only for time invariant system linear time invariant system it cannot be used for non-linear and time variant system and i want to mention one another disadvantage here that is transfer function does not provide the information about progress output okay understood 
so that was all all about the transfer function if you have any doubt any minor doubt the comment section is all yours you can ping me anytime i will clear your doubt that was all for the today's video i tried to explain you transfer function in simple words if you have still doubt then let me know okay so see you all in the next video till then tata bye bye and don't forget to like share and comment and let me know whether this video was useful or not